Hello everyone, it's Takasu Buddha 2 here, and for today, we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different for today's video, and this is something to do with the upcoming Naruto and Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections game, which is meant to be releasing this year. So how was the game recently? I haven't talked about this in, in my channel for like a couple months, so how has it been? Well, first off, we got at least a couple new character reveals, which is a new Naruto and a Sasuke. We expect a Naruto, I never really expected another Sasuke, but you can't have a Naruto without a Sasuke. We got a few new online information and all we also got that new trailer talking about the naruto top 99 poll which was a worldwide thing and then afterwards yeah honestly the storm connections game is really really bad in its advertisement and it's not really a good thing at all first of all why is that even a problem or what exactly is going on with the naruto storm connections game and its marketing how could they change that which is why in this video i want to be discussing on um, the whole situation right now on why the you know the storm game is currently is in a bad situation in terms of its marketing and how they can change its advertising I mean, to keep players engaged for those who are a huge fan of the Naruto Storm series. So, first off, let's talk about from the beginning. From Naruto, it, this was game, this game was announced at around the February state of play, and this is coming this year at around 2023. We don't know when, it's probably during the fall, maybe the summer, most likely winter. But here's the thing this game is coming from PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, XS, and also the and also Steam. So, really, this is already the first thing that was shown off. Many were kind of, you know, surprised at this being a Nar another Naruto Storm game because, you know, last year there was a leak talking about a potential Storm 5. They did say connections, which made many Naruto Storm fans and the Naruto fans think that they could, there's possibly a Storm 5 game coming up because the Naruto Storm games is one of the most popular and one of the most well made franchises that Bandai Namco and CyberConnect2 have produced for the Naruto series. After all, I have all four games on my Nintendo Switch. It really, I love the game so much, but what is currently going on right now? First of all, is the narrative about it being a new game or not. From the gameplay itself, it's not exactly telling us whether or not that this is either a new game, and Bandai Namco and CyberConnect2 are just trying their hardest to just say, wait a minute, this is actually a new, this is not exactly is trying, it's trying to say this is not a remake, this is not a remaster, this is definitely a new game and all, and I would believe that if it wasn't for some of the latest advertisements so far. We do get to see a few gameplay cuts from Indra and Asura being two new characters that weren't added in the Naruto 4 Storm 4 game, and then soon enough we do get to see a few new characters from time to time, but overall, what exactly is telling me that it's gonna be a new game and not exactly a remaster of all four games? We saw one glimpse of that Naruto Naruto Storm 1 boss when, he, when Naruto was fighting Shukaku, which that mechanic in the first Storm game was really outdated, and it's not exactly telling us whether or not it's going to be a new mechanic and an actual boss fight instead of whatever that was back in Storm 1, and yeah, it's really hard to tell if this is either a new game or not. But what about its advertising recently? Well, like I said, this was announced at around February of 2023, so we don't know what exactly you know, the game will be coming out. We know it's this year, but we don't know when it's coming out. But two months later, we did get to see a new two new character reveals, that being Naruto Barrier Mode and Sasuke supporting Kage, and we did get to see actual uncut gameplay that didn't just, you know, go into jump cuts and all. We actually get to see new gameplay and all, and then if you have noticed from this footage I'm showing you, for sorry for how low quality this is, you may have noticed that the colors and the contrast has sort of brightened up. If you played the Naruto Storm Forum game and then you compared that one to this one, it seems that they brighten up the colors. And from the gameplay itself, they show a few new snippets of maybe a new mechanic that wasn't seen because the Naruto Storm for the Naruto Storm games have gotten at least a different mechanic from each game from time to time. For Naruto Storm 1 feature, I think wall, I think like wall fighting. The second one I can't really recall. Generations had an interesting mechanic of having, you know, a limitation of, you know, having a limitation of chakra and substitution jutsu. The Naruto Storm 3 pretty much mixed it all together, but also introducing a, a semi awakening. Naruto Revolution kind of had a mechanic where you fought these awakenings as boss battles, and then Naruto Storm 4 has characters switching up for as for as a nice way to mix things up from from 
from the, for each match, which I do like. Naruto Storm Connections may have given us that new detail, and really, there's nothing much. So, at first, when I saw this, I was really interested on how this game will go. The advertisement may be shallow, but hey, at least we got two new characters. I wonder what else they're going to be revealing next. Their next trailer was absolutely trash, I'm not going to lie. Because they have shown in this. Here, this was from the official Naruto video game Twitter, where they announced that this was a collaboration with the Naruto Top 99 Worldwide, worldwide Character Popularity Vote with the Naruto Boruto Ultimate Storm game, which, yeah, it's not as bad as people, as, it's not really bad, but it's definitely not a way to advertise this game at all. For those who don't know, the Naruto Top 99 was a worldwide popularity poll for all the Naruto fans to celebrate it's the anime's 20th anniversary. There are people there, many fans and people can vote for any character, and whoever is going to be top one will get a special one-shot manga from Masashi Kishimoto himself. And the winner is that was actually Minato, which you know we all wanted to see what Minato was like before he became a Hokage and all and what his life was and all that. Really, it's pretty nice to see. But it being an advertisement for something that many were at least expecting, because like I said, Storm Connections is it's not exactly telling us this is a new game or just a remaster of all four games, which is already a bad thing, but the fact that you're even giving us a trailer from something that already happened that we've already aware of to after just revealing two new characters, it's not exactly a good sign. It's really not. And recently, I think around this month, we were given two new screenshots. First of all, is this new Team Ultimate Awakening with the Uzumaki family and then this new V-Jump scan showing off the, ulti the Team Ultimate Ultimates for the Uzumaki and Uchiha clan, and in the bottom, you may have no also noticed a few new screenshots from the online functionality, and also new customization for your characters, which I guess that's cool, but what's the customization for exactly? Is this another new mechanic that's going to be added in this one? Like I mentioned, every no start Naruto Storm game always adds a new mechanic, but yeah, afterwards, there has not been anything else from it. So, yeah, so far, advertisement is really bad, and nothing is telling us that this is a new game, and the Top 99 thing, while it is great as an advertisement, it just doesn't help from the fact that we barely know any information about this game at all. What's even worse is that in this exact trailer, some of the footage, I don't know why, some of the footage feels like they're actually from Storm, 1, from, from Storm 4. It feels like they just input that footage from Storm 4, added it to, added it to this trailer, they're meshing up together and then bam call of the day not really anything else and really well like i mentioned with this trailer here they did show us a few new contrasts and colors about nart about this gameplay overall but with this one it felt like they just mesh all the gameplay from either storm 4 all together and bam that's just about it so yeah that's all i have to say about this but how exactly can bandai namco and cyber connect 2 change it to make us think to make us keep engaged about this First of all is that one keep showing us more gameplay. Don't just try and be shallow about it. We will only get at least new gameplay footage or any information every two to three weeks, and it's honestly getting tiring at this point. Number two, give us an actual trailer that doesn't really get that while well, it does show the game new, you know, some new, the same old gameplay. At least show us some new information that makes us think, okay, maybe this may be, a, maybe this may be a Naruto, new, new Naruto Storm game, or maybe this is just a remaster of some sorts. You can at least try and tell us about this. Like I said, Naruto fans were starving for a new Naruto Storm game for ever since Storm 4 came, you know, ended, and many were really hoping for at least another Naruto game at least some point in the future, and given which Shinobi Striker is still in the horizon and Storm Connection still being a thing, I really do hope they show us at least more gameplay. Another thing is that show us what the original content is. Bandai Namco has advertised that there will be a new story. Unfortunately, it is not based off of the Boruto manga or anime at all, though I feel like there may be some connections to that, but really, we only saw a few screenshots of the new Boruto story, and that's really about it. At least try and show us something about it. 
it and just gives us something that keeps us engaged and whether we should be excited for this game or not. That's all I really have to say for Storm Connections. I'm sort of excited at the same time, but if Bandai Namco and Cyber Connect 2 are not either giving us any information on whether this is a new game or not, then I'm basically just not gonna buy it at all. Like, I feel like it's not worth my money. Is it real? I mean, I already have full, all the four Storm games on my Switch, so what makes me think of buying this game if it's not going to tell me anything about what the game is really about? But I want to know your thoughts and opinions down below about this. Do you really think you should buy Naruto Storm Connections, or do you think you should wait until, you know, they show us more interesting information on whether or not this is a new game or not? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this, and so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember this, once a legend, always a legend.